Hi all, welcome to this course on PPC. Today we'll be learning about the deterministic models of inventory. So in this EOQ modeling, we are having the following assumptions that production is instantaneous or there is no capacity constraint and the entire lot is produced simultaneously. The delivery, which means that there is no capacity constraint or we are having the production to be fastly produced or instantaneously produced simultaneously at each and every stage without any blockage in the sequencing process or the scheduling process and the delivery is also immediate which means that once the production is done then the delivery is also immediately being done where which states that there is no time lag between the production and availability to satisfy the demand. Demand is deterministic or there is no uncertainty about the quantity or timing of the demand. Or we say that the demand is completely deterministic or how much amount of demand which is required for the products that is generally being found out in this model. And also the demand is constant over the time. In fact, it can be represented as a straight line so that if annual demand is 365 units, this translates into a daily demand of one unit. And finally, a production drought run incurs a fixed setup cost regardless of the size of the lot or the status of the factory the setup cost is constant products can be analyzed singly either there is only a single product or condition exists that ensures the separability of the products all of these are generally assumptions which are utilized in this model for obtaining a perfect inventory model but since they are assumptions it there are chances that it can never be true also like for example our demand is constant is never possible since demand is always unstable and it highly depends upon the market time or market rate hence based upon these assumptions we start with the inventory model so the inventory model or this deterministic inventory model which is economic order quantity model for production quantity generally depends upon the multi product inventory control model with a finite production they have a finite production rate upon which this is dependent and the variables which are needed to calculate the eoq is always the optimal order quantity or economic order quantity hence the value of eoq is generally being found out or economic order quantity is generally being found out by the value of square root of 2ds by h where each of the individual quantity indicate EOQ indicates the economic order quantity, Q indicates the qu order quantity, D indicates the annual demand quantity, S indicates the fixed cost per order or typically the cost of ordering and shipping and handling. This is not the final cost of the goods but it is the fixed cost per order and H indicates the annual holding cost per unit which is the carrying cost, warehouse, space, refrigeration, insurance, etc., which is not related to the unit cost. But indirectly, all these costs depend upon the annual holding cost per unit. Like for example, if we take an ice cream manufacturing unit, although it is completely being manufactured outside, we definitely need a chiller or a refrigeration unit to store whatever we are being producing as products. Until and unless a refrigeration unit is not present, we will never be able to store that or we will be never be able to deliver it as per our customer need. Hence, this cost is coming under the value of this H, which is the annual holding cost per unit. Hence, finally, if we have the values of this annual demand quantity, fixed cost per day, and annual holding cost per unit, we can find out what is the order quantity or EOQ, which is equals to square root of. 2 into D into S divided by H. Thank you.